What's going on, my people? And welcome back, my family, to Is Rock Smore Reviews. And today I have a gem for you. Uh, we're going to be discussing, reviewing a movie that just came out not that long ago called Steps. Uh, this movie intrigued me because I saw the trailer and it looked very interesting. And on top of that, attached to the movie was executive producer Shaquille O'Neal. And you know, I'm a big fan of Shaquille O'Neal back in his uh, playing days. And this movie um, really, really intrigued me uh, from the beginning. Um, although God has a way of guiding our steps in life in the right direction, in the end, the choice is ultimately ours to make. And in this movie, Brian Coleman must take charge of his own destiny, following the steps of love, recovery, redemption, and forgiveness. Um, this movie is directed by Rock Davis and Jay Rodriguez Jr. It stars Rob Morgan and Walter uh, Font Leroy. And um, man, boy, was I shocked. Emotions went out, intellect when it comes to this movie. Uh, Steps, which was an indie feature that is often short on believe it, b believability, but definitely has merit. Uh, stands tall when the conversation turns to empathy. Um, this movie was written by Eddie Harris. Uh, it isn't a faith-based film per se, but that term is nowhere to be found in its promotional material. So I can't go ahead and tell you that this is a lifetime movie, anything like that. It wasn't, but it did feel uh, like it at times because it exhibits a generosity of spirit and certain to earn the blessings of those that it affects, like myself. Um, more cynical sorts, however, might be bothered not only by the coincidences um, that occur at a regular basis, many interviews, intervals, but also the film's determination to reach a good feel-good finale. Uh, you could tell from the beginning that this movie, it basically seats you on a comfortable couch and guides you throughout and navigates you throughout this film. Uh, basically telling you throughout the, the story that it's gonna end on a positive note to the point where it's unbelievable at times. You think that something really horrible is gonna happen, but this is not a spoiler review, so you could go ahead and check it out for yourself. Um, no matter how hard it needs to be, you know, we do push and we do get there. Uh, the fine actor, Rob Morgan, also seen the last year's uh, independent offering, Bull, go check that out, uh, was amazing. He stars as Brian Coleman, uh, an attorney whose life is destroyed after he's nearly killed in an armed robbery. Uh, turning to alcohol to ease his pain, he isolates his pregnant fiance, Wendy, played by Tia Leon Hodge, and eventually uh, forces her to leave him. And now you cut to 14 years later and Brian is a homeless man, still addicted to that bottle. You know, many can relate. Wendy continues to live in the area, but she has a restraining order against Brian and refuses to let him see their now teenage son, Omar, who's played by Darius Caleb, really young, good young actor. Um, and thanks to the efforts of Marvin, played by Robert McKay, who's a priest who also becomes his close friend, uh, Brian is able to uh, begin piecing back his life, uh, you know, trying to do it back in order, determined to win his ex-girlfriend back, who of course is about to marry a, a fucking loser and become a real father to his son. So he starts to uh, find work and eventually uh, serves as a handyman at Marvin's church before landing a job as a health aide, where this job, working as a health aide, very similar to what I do uh, now, um, changes his life dramatically because he's taxed with, he's taxed, tasked with assisting the elderly and the disabled with their own homes. And who should Brian's next assignment be? is a man named Taji, 
who's played by Walter from Leroy, who is a punk who shot him 14 years earlier and is now in a wheelchair after getting plunged himself. So the fact that Brian and Taji meet again in such a scenario uh, will doubtless lead to plenty of eye rolling for various reasons. Um, you know, how many times you get shot and live. And how many times you do get shot, end up paralyzed, God forbid. And years later, the person that actually shot you is the person that's going to take care of you. It's an interesting story. Interesting dynamic. Um, but once the movie passes this contrivance, uh, it scores in its exploration of the tense relationship between the two men. Ultimately, it, it's never as condescending or heavy-handed as the global smash, like The Untouchables, uh, film also involving a paraplegic and his caretaker. Um, Steps admirably keeps its range. It keeps his rage intact for the most part. Not only from Brian toward Taji, but also Wendy toward Brian and Taji toward the world in this scenario. Um, of course, the ultimate messages of the movie involve forgiveness, redemption. So the film is not going to climax with Brian pushing the wheelchair down a fucking 50-story building or anything like that. But instead, there are many happy endings. Um, there are many blessings handed out in the story. Uh, that's why I was saying earlier how it had that lifetime feel. These are so positive. What a fucked up outcome. A fucked up situation, right? And um, yeah, what's significant about the story and what intrigued me the most was even caring enough about these characters and what we go through and why we forgive the narrative and plausibilities. Um, instead, it, we bask in all this enveloping warmth, right? Um, NBA legend Shaq O'Neal produced this, and he's listed as one of the executive producers. Um, probably didn't produce the movie, but definitely gave him a credit in this, and for him to put his name all this definitely was a big step and right in the right direction, uh, especially with his big heart. Um, this movie definitely uh, succeeded and it's definitely one of those movies that quietly go under the radar and teach you valuable lessons on not only to continue with life, but to forgive, to be humble and you would actually take the help that's needed, even if it's from your enemy. So there's a lot of lessons to learn in this uh, story. And I hope you go ahead and give this movie a, a chance. It's called Steps. Um, out of 10 stars, I give this movie a seven. It was a seven out of 10 for me. Uh, that's pretty good. You know, all in all, it's definitely an eye jerker. You know, tear jerker. You're gonna definitely have your moments where you're you're uh, crying. So definitely uh, have your uh, your tissues handy, and let me know what you thought about this movie. The seriousness. This was definitely worth the time. So the next one. Enjoy. Like the video. Hit that notification bell. And if you want more content from me, subscribe.